What's up, my V lovelies? Yes, you guys, today I'm eating chicken again. And we have Darius on deck, and he's eating. What are you eating? Oh, I got a salad. A I chipotle? Forgot. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know what I'm doing. I got a salad and I got chips like I was gonna be cute and dip my chip. Like That's what you do, dip the chips in the salad. In the salad, mom? Yes. Yes, you do that, Darius, with the meat. No, I don't like it. Let's say Grace. That's my, and Dad asked for chips and he didn't get any, so I might as well just give him mine. Yeah. But I don't have a fork now. Can we say, God, I got a fork over there? Heavenly yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can you give me a fork? I was going to get no meat, but I got meat. You always do get meat. No, I, was, I don't think you could go without meat. I got meat. there and she was like, any meat? And there was and a lot of things going in my brain. I said, I don't know. I said, should I? Should not? And the calculations were going in my head. And so I just got barbacoa. Yeah, I got brown chicken. Let me take a, let's take a uh, thumbnail. Okay. I look like a bum. Yeah. I'm just gonna say it now. He look like a whole bum. Yeah, I look like a bum right now. I didn't need it. <laughs> no. He don't like no bum. I do what? Uh, I've been in bed all day. I've been in bed. That's normal. You normal usually don't get in bed with your robe. Normal for who? I'm a very productive person. And I forgot queso. And I forgot queso's on dad's too. Well, he didn't ask for mm. queso. But still, I forgot queso and I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Now my stuff's gonna be blown and dry and gross disgusting. No, it's not. But I like to think of myself, less queso means very just a healthy meal. This looks so unhealthy. I made the salad, not a salad. Right. <laughs> I guess I, I would say something when you agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me just try it before I mix everything because I'm hungry. All right, I have a good mm. salad chunk right there. A little bit of barbacoa. I got the both kinds of rice because I love rice. There we go. Are you good? Mmm, this is gross. No, I'm just kidding. No, oh, it's good. It's good. What's this case on it? I really do. But when it would have been a salad after that, it would have been a bowl with... It would have been a meatball. Which is um, nothing wrong with that. So, y'all, thank you guys, everybody, for the congratulations of the 1 million subscribers. Tell them what. Thank you. Let's drop that. You guys are amazing, for real. And uh, like I said, we're gonna wait till Dalvin get here to celebrate. He'll be here at the end of this month. Yes, 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 yes. All this meat. I don't know what to do about it. Mm. Oh, I got three more days of chicken. Three more what? Days of chicken. I think I'm going to go to Roosters. Three more days. Have you been doing a, de a chicken thing? Mm-hmm. He ain't no Roosters. No. I didn't know. I know. I don't watch videos. I don't. It's okay. All right, now I can finally eat normally. I only took one bite. Mm hmm Now, I have another show that I've been binge watching. Who? Ray. It's Who? called. No, I've been I'm been raving about the Good Doctor. Did I tell you about that? Mm -hmm. I think I talked about it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was watching it, and I just like watched it like periodically, and then I got hooked over the weekend, and I finished it. Yep, if you give it, it's only one season. 
and the second season's out live right now, or like continuing right now. So I guess I'll be finding out when it comes on next, and I'll be watching it up to date. A good doctor. It's actually a really good show, and they killed it. It's probably the best doctor show I've ever watched. I've seen all of them, all the doctor shows. Actually, I haven't, but I tried Grey's Anatomy. I couldn't. Why? Mm -mm. Mm. Y'all, let's talk about. Did y'all hear about the uh, lady that did Cardi B's makeup? Yes, we did. Some people haven't. I know. But that video is going viral now. And she made this video in January. I saw a video a while back. You saw it a while back? Mm -hmm. It just got recommended to me. Um, but Cardi, if there was a cancellation scale, she's off of it. Really? She she exceeded the cancel. I'm I'm done. She's canceled. She's yeah, poor girl. She's canceled. She's done. I don't care what Cardi says. She's canceled. She really is. Oh my gosh, she went a lot of times when she was mad high. I just, uh, it was a lot. With that girl? Well, you, why don't you explain the story? So, it was this girl that did, got called to do make, uh, Cardi B's makeup, I think somewhere in December last year. And well, apparently, no, no, apparently she did her makeup before. Yes. And Cardi B liked it. Yes. And so she came in town again, and the girl was to do her makeup again. Mm -hmm. She requested that she do her makeup again. So the girl was there, she came to do her makeup. She even went to the store to buy all new makeup mm -hmm. and stuff so she know, um, cause he wanted everything to be good. And uh, now, mind you, the girl said when she first met Cardi B, she was a big fan of her. She was like, oh, I'm gonna be doing Cardi B's makeup. She was so excited. And Cardi B was like one of her number one fans. No. But when she said, when she got it, I mean, one, of, one of her number one artists, uh, but, artists but, celebrities. right, celebrities. Mm -hmm. And so when she got there, she was like, she was very standoffish, you know. Cardi was, yeah. Yeah, Cardi was. And she was not really, like, she portrayed herself. On TV. In the media. Right. Um, so she was like, she gave her benefit of the doubt and, you know, waved it off. So then the second time she did it, she was, you know, kind of happy again. And she chose again. And then when she went this next <laughs> time... Cardi B wasn't ready to uh, get her makeup done because she was running late or whatever the case may be. So the girl was waiting around, waiting around, waiting around. And finally, the girl B was able to get in. And when she got in to do her makeup, Cardi B was not in a good mood, A. And B, she was not feeling her makeup. She was kept on looking herself. The one lady was saying she kept on looking herself in the mirror to see if the makeup look was done and... And she was looking at half stuff, stuff half done, and I guess Cardi B snapped and told her to get the f out and all this other a, stuff. There's a lot of details. Okay. So first, she um, she had done it first time. Cardi B liked her makeup. Yeah. She was really, she didn't, she doesn't, she just was expecting more when she met Cardi B that she'd be more whatever. And she understands that people are not always the same in, in media. Like mm -hmm. when you meet me. For a meet and greet, I'm not. Well, I, I am like this. No, I'm not like. It's, the only reason why I'm not like this is because we're not having a conversation usually. Mm -hmm. It's usually like you know what I'm saying. So I'm not like doing a lot. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Whatever. He's if you meet, if you meet me in a per in person, I'm just like you see me out in public. It's not like I'm whatever. So yeah, but Cardi B's more like on mm -hmm. 110. On in on in, in the media, right? Mm -hmm. Cause when she saw her, she was just a little taken aback about how she acted. Mm -hmm. So then, a couple months later, in December of last year, she her team, Cardi B's team, uh, was talked to her again and said, "Hey, we're back in town. Uh, Cardi B specifically requested you." Mm -hmm. So she was like, "Wow, <clears throat> Cardi B requested me." Um, so she gets to this. Okay, first of all, mind you. She's a she's a, a makeup artist, right? So she has clients, you know, that that book for her to do like mm -hmm. their makeup for like specific uh, venues and stuff like that, right? So this particular weekend it was such short notice mm -hmm. that she had to cancel all of her appointments 
oh, over yeah. that weekend so that she could do Cardi B's makeup. Mm -hmm. And so she had to refund back these people. She had like three clients that weekend. She had to refund them and they paid in advance, like months in advance, just to get those spots. And she had to say, I'm so sorry, Cardi came in town. And basically she prioritized Cardi over them. Mm -hmm. I would have too. So whatever. So they, um, she gets to, to this venue or whatever, right? And she tries to go up to Cardi's room with what, I guess whoever talked to her on the phone. And there, and she was Cardi wasn't ready, so she was she was in her hotel room on the phone, and she was like, there were she was obviously having an altercation with someone on the phone. Yeah, she was. So they went and uh, she she looked she was like, give me fifteen minutes, I need time, I need time. Mm -hmm. So the makeup artist she went down to um, the the lobby, she went down to the lobby, and she sat there for like first it was like fifteen minutes, and she kept on talking to the guy like. Whoever her people were mm -hmm. on the phone, she was like, oh, when do you want me to come up? Like, is she ready yet? Is she ready? Mm -hmm. I kept on saying, no, no, just wait, just wait. So then they had, she had met up with uh, some other people, some other, like the, the hair, pe the pe some, another hair person or whatever, some people, some more people who got hired. And mm -hmm. they're like, don't wait down the lobby because she had had all her bags with her, her makeup stuff and everything. She was just sitting at the bar mm -hmm. in the lobby mm -hmm. of this hotel. So she was like, no, just come up to my room, um, right? So they were sitting in the room waiting for Cardi to be done, whatever. So after like 45 minutes to an hour, Cardi B is finally ready, right? Mm -hmm. So she gets up to the room and... Uh, hold on. She gets up to the room and Cardi um, is... Doesn't acknowledge him like she did the first time. Mm -hmm. the same, she did the same thing she did the first time. She didn't acknowledge him. She didn't, um, it, like they said, hi, how are you? Because they knew she was having a bad day, so they're trying to make it better. They're like, when they walked in, they're like, so sorry uh, yep. uh, of what's going on or whatever. They're just like, you know, trying to comfort her. So she doesn't acknowledge him in the first place. Again, so this makeup artist, she was like, okay, um, I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'm just gonna do my work, right? So she's she's doing Cardi B's makeup or whatever, and Cardi B's on her phone. First of all, and then there's a mirror, and she keeps on doing this during the makeup, mm -hmm. looking looking over, and then she would mm -hmm. go back to her phone, and then she would look at the makeup back in the thing, whatever, right? So yeah, yeah, whatever. They were um, she was doing her makeup, right? And all of a sudden, Cardi's like. She had like some uh, some setting powder on her face, mm -hmm. and she was like, "This is too light. This is too." Cardi was saying it. She's like, "This is too light. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it." So she was uh, doing her makeup or whatever, and she was like, "This is too light. This is too light." And she was she kept on like saying that. She was trying to assure her, "I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet." That's what, that's what the makeup artist was saying. "I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet." Right? So and she was explaining in the video that she was talking about that a lot of people like don't know what the finished product's gonna be, and they always like jump to conclusions, say, "I don't like how it's looking." When when and she was like, "That's a big pet peeve of a makeup artist because like you know how it's gonna look, and in the process it may look bad, but it's gonna look good at the end, right?" Mm -hmm. So she was trying to really assure her, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. And uh, Cardi B wasn't having it at all. So then she, uh, so then she uh, like w was like, okay, whatever, right? And so she, she was doing her eyeliner and stuff. And every, like, Cardi B was moving a lot. She mm -hmm. wasn't, like, trying to, like, stay still at all whatsoever for this makeup artist. She was just doing whatever she wanted to do, talking, screaming, whatever what she wanted to do. And uh, she was doing her eyeliner, trying to keep it be still, because she's, you know, Cardi's like moving her head, right? And so she keeps on opening her eyes all the way up, and she's leaving like the eyeliner up on the roof of, or, or up on her eyelid, right? So she's like, "What are you doing?" Da da da. This. She's like, "I can fix it." So she tries like uh, just all the stuff is building up. What I'm, what I'm trying to get you to, to see, all the stuff is building up. And Cardi's getting angrier and angrier, right? Mm -hmm. So, so on her eyelid, and she keeps on. So she wipes it off and does it again, right? And she, keep, uh, she keeps on doing it. She does it like three more times after that. And it keeps on get, wiping off on her things, right? So then her, I don't know who it was who walked in, whatever, came in and she was like, look at what's on my face. 
da 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 this, like, do you see what she's doing, blah, 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 whatever, right? And so, at least she was trying to be, the, the lady who walked in was trying to be more calm. She was like, oh, yeah, you can just, like, maybe, maybe just make it a little bit darker for Cardi, da 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 this, whatever, right? So, um, I don't know what happened that set her off, but anyway, Cardi was like, oh, well, um, I don't like, she, kept, she said something else and she didn't like it or whatever. And so the makeup artist was like, look, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm, I'm really trying my hardest here. Like, I, I, do you want she me to change it? Do you want me to fix it? Oh yeah, she called her B. Yeah, she uh, called her B. Yeah, she did call her B. Mm -hmm. At some point. Yeah. It was a, towards the beginning. And she didn't mm -hmm. know if she was joking or not. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she said, she said, are you, are, you, are you trying to make me look like Casper B or something like that? Mm -hmm. Whatever. So, yeah, she, um, she was doing it. And uh, she was like, do you, what do you want me to do? Like, do you want me to stop? Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to like fix, mm -hmm. try to fix it? And she's like, you know what? Just get out, get, and she, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, obviously. She was swearing all mm -hmm. through this. She was like, get, get the F out, get the yeah. F out, da, da 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 this. I don't want you to do this anymore. Just stop, just stop. And meanwhile, the, the girl, the, the makeup artist in the video, I felt so bad, she was crying during the video, mm -hmm. talking about some, this, this is my career. And she's yeah. just like, you know, whatever. So she's like, get the F out, get the F out. And so she left or whatever, and she made a video about it. Mm -hmm. And she made that video in January of this year. Mm -hmm. Cause she had done her makeup in December. So she made the video in January of this year. And it didn't get it didn't get that much attention, I guess. At all. For not for the type of story that it was. When I watched it, it was like only like kid you not sixteen thousand views or something. It was very low. Mm. Now it's at over three point something million views. Overnight and I just watched it. I just watched it like a month, two months ago. No, yeah, two months ago. Well excuse me. What happened was that YouTube um, started promoting her video. That's how I saw it. Mm-hmm. And so, then, no, 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 no. Sorry, yeah. doing it in a British accent. So, so they started promoting her video. That's how I saw it. I'm thinking Cardi's canceled. Cardi's canceled. Mm-hmm. She's. Oh, I can't with Cardi after the Nicki incident. I gave her another chance. I really did. Now this is coming to light. I can't. You said when she can't. When she brought her video out. Yeah, no, I no, okay. The whole Nikki incident, Cardi was already canceled, but I, I gave her another another chance in my heart. And I said, you know what? People make mistakes. And now I'm hearing this. No. Mm. And then I'm hearing other other makeup artists were like, yeah, I, I had a similar experience to that. No. No. Well, yeah. No. So anyway. Oh, I know that. So yeah, so um, that happened or whatever, and. Cardi B, now that it's getting attention in the media, Cardi B went on a live. She responded. <laughs> on her Instagram, she was like, this makeup artist had all these accusations to say about me, and this is what happened. Basically, this is what her side of the story is. Basically, I, I hired this uh, makeup artist before my career blew up. I didn't even, Bodak Yellow wasn't even out when she did my makeup. And she uh, she came to work mad late. This is what I remember. Mad late. She, she kept saying mad late. She came mad high, and she was mad lazy. She didn't want to do anything. She and whatever was her her accusations. And so the girl came back, and she's like, I have receipts. So she came with, with screenshots of her talking to her people. First of all, it was after after Bodak Yellow came out and after it was doing well. Mm -hmm. Second of all, she had messages of her being at the vent at the hotel uh, er, twenty minutes early mm -hmm. of her call time and was like, "Why is the car to be ready?" And she it was she had some messages of her talking to like the people saying, "When can I come up? When can I come up?" Yeah. So Cardi B said that she was mad late and um, mad. I'm saying mad because she I just this is what Cardi B said. And I found that so funny. She said she was mad late. Whatever. Said so she was late and she came. Um, uh, lazy, and she came high, and they, she said that she brought an entourage. She brought people with her. Uh -huh. She said that she just brought so many people with mm -hmm. her. And the lady was like, "I didn't." Or the, the makeup artist was like, "What was her name? Do you know, remember her name? I don't remember her name." But the she people had the people the that artist. was that was the people that was doing her hair and stuff. Right? She didn't bring anybody. I know, but I thought the people that was that she went to the room with came because they said she ready. Yeah, and they all came together. But the the well, sad part about it is. She didn't even pay her. She yeah. didn't pay her nothing. See, they they, were, they reimbursed her for it because she had to pay for parking. 
at this um that's it thing so they reimbursed it but that's that was it that's a bad than that um that's crazy you cancel all your clients this weekend for a celebrity mm -hmm. you refunded them their money you want to do a celebrity and then they that experience happening a celebrity that you really looked up to that you admired admire yeah that happened to you and she's screaming at you and oh my god that made me sick i would know hey, there's a saying wasn't there's like a saying it's like um when you're when your icons become rivals or something like that like i wouldn't be able to imagine like ever being famous and like if i like met beyonce and she treated me horribly uh -huh. i wouldn't horrible. know what to do i really would that would hurt you bad it really would that like your whole life you've been looking up to somebody and like oh my gosh like i love you i love you i love you and i have an infatuation with somebody and then meeting them in person and they treat you horribly that uh uh i wouldn't really do it mm. and she said she really looked up to cardi and she's she over really time to get that out no she cussed that girl out and the girl was so you can tell she had a sweet demeanor about her and mm -hmm. she said all right she said she got bullied a lot when she was in school called ugly and different things like that so she identified with cardi b she thought she could relate at least. she can relate and man that's why she really She's a mother. I admire her. Oh, yeah. She had to get a last minute babysitter for her kids that weekend. Mm -hmm. She lost a lot of money on that week. Yeah, she lost a lot of money. She didn't get paid at all. And she was crying so much on that video, y'all. And I just felt really bad. You would felt bad. And I don't think that I don't think that girl was high. No. I don't obviously know what happened, but I can guarantee she did not go in there high no, and be there reciting high. all this stuff. She did not go in there high. That girl left crying. Her eyes out. Ball her eyes out. And you know she was going to sit there and cuss her out. Yeah. She just took it. No, she just took it. Mm-mm. Sadness. Oh yeah. And then Cardi public apparently she publicly announced, like to everyone in the room, that she wasn't getting paid. Yep, she did. And that's why it came out and told her. Sad. No. She's canceled. Mm-hmm. I hope she thinks twice the way the way That's she That's a lot of straw. Well, you can't treat people like any kind of like. I don't care what you say about the situation. How much you love Cardi? I can't. Yeah. I just wouldn't know what to do if that happened to me. None. And you probably cry too. Oh. That's when your idols become rivals. Mm-hmm. Not icons. I know a lot of people that have said it. Well, I read about a lot of people that said that it's on YouTube. When people say they met people that mm. um that were famous. I mean. And they were totally different. I was like, wow. There's a lot of in person. Celebrities that people say are mean. Mm-hmm. Like they'll be like the rudest celebrities I ever met. You could there's a lot of videos like that. Mm-hmm. I Some people have bad experiences with Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Rihanna. Really? Yeah. And my thing is that every once in a while it'll be like a, a circumstantial situation. 
But yeah, if you have a bad day, well, no, you still shouldn't take it out no, on no, your. No, no, no. Not a bad day like that. I meant like where it would have been like a, a thirty second altercation. Not an altercation, but you know, like that they got they got painted in a bad light because they weren't really friendly or something. You know what I'm saying? But like they met him at an award show and they weren't like exu exuberant to meet them, you know? So they were like, oh, you know, but but in Cardi's case, she was sitting there having some of her makeup done. She's cursing at them. That's different than like if you met, if you were met, meeting someone at a, a, you know, an award show uh -huh. and and they, you know, you said hi, Rihanna or something and they didn't like say hi or something like that. That's different. That's still rude. It's very rude, but it's different. It's on a different level than, uh -huh. than cursing someone out. Do you not agree? Yeah. Then then being can, then then cursing your make, makeup right. artist out. Right. I'm saying get the F that's out and not paying them. That's too much. Yeah. That is a bit that's a lot of extremely. I mean, a bit extreme. Cause why would you even do that when you know you No, why would you even do that as a human? Right. Person. Why would you even try to, and you know you got people that look up look up to you. Mm -mm. Oh, the girl did have receipts, so. Yeah, I believe her. But that girl blew up overnight. She got like 90,000 subscribers, I kid you not. I subscribe too. I haven't watched them. I don't watch makeup videos. I'm not subscribe. I probably watch your stuff, but I've been on makeup but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but. Yeah, but hopefully, she get more uh, business out of this. Mm -hmm. so, oh. What? Mm. She did cash doll too. You know what that is? Cash doll? I heard of her. She was, uh, you know how I found her? One day you're watching the, the, um, BET Social Awards or something like that. Oh. We were in the living room. Do you mm -hmm. remember that? The Sun Social Awards. And it's like oh, a couple, like months ago. Maybe if she was the one that was on YouTube? Okay, she performed. What do you mean? She, was she on YouTube? Cause you told me she had a YouTube channel. Mm. No. She had a colorful body suit or something. No. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Um. She um performed her song for everybody. That's what it's called. And she killed it. I saw. I saw it on. That's the first time I ever seen her was her performing live. So I looked at the song, and now I love Cash Doll. Anyway, so she had done, she did Cash Doll, and she said Cash Doll was extremely nice. Offered them food and stuff. See, that's what supposed to be like. First impressions is everything. Cause that's what they're gonna remember about you, right? And that was Cardi's second. That was the second impression of Cardi. The first one. Was not good either. It wasn't great. It wasn't horrible, but. Right. Mm. I should say this for after the gym. I have to belch. I know. What you had to do, and I had to do what I had to do. You need to be dropped in that dagger. I need to go to the gym. What time is it? 30 minutes. No. Which means it's about to stop now. <clears throat> what time is it on the phone? Man gave me free chips. Okay. I said I like to pay for chips. And he gave me the bag and he was just looking at me. And I was like, should I, in my in my mind I said, should I run? Should I I didn't know I didn't know if that was a hint. He was just looking at me. I have the card in my hand. And he was just staring at me and I was like, is that my sign to leave? And I was like, 
I just, I just want to buy these chips. He said, "Don't worry about it, bro." Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So I said, "Well, so if you insist, I just didn't want it." Right. So what did you do? Not like yesterday when I was in the store. What? When I was in the store, I said something about you stealing or something. Yeah. <laughs> no. <funny. laughs> I meant to say walk off. Anyways, y'all, it's an inside joke. No. Anyways, I think I'm about done. I'm gonna sign out. I had the bells, boy. I'm getting off the frame. Talk about some um, um, thing while I eat this about put out my face. My song? Mm hmm. Everyone, what was this coming out? It's 19. Oh, this, this video. One, tomorrow. Is it really? Mm hmm. Well, on the 19th, I have a small song coming. It's just a small one, you know. Um, there is. I always do that. Why do you always do that? What? Well, you <laughs> can't sing. What? You said it in your video. It's just a small song coming out. You ain't got to say small song. Nothing big. Nothing huge. It's just a small song. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, you no, yeah, but, side, you don't listen to it. You better. You better listen to it. Yeah. Um, black sweat and tears. Um. Have you released the, uh just the name of the song yet? Yeah. What's the name? Pre predictable. Uh. -huh. It's called predictable. Uh huh. Uh. Why are you trying to think of the word in the song? Yeah, I didn't know it was predictable. It's in there, but you know what? This, you know what I realized as a matured artist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my god! <laughs> you don't have to have the um, the um, the name of the song doesn't have to be. What's the what's the name in the song? N no, the name of the song. You don't have to like say the name of the I song a billion saying. times right. in the song. Right. Right. So the the name of the song is in the song, but it's just not the most repeated thing. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. not in the chorus. That doesn't mean it doesn't. The, I just want people to know the origins of it before they, you know, listen to the chorus, but apply it to the origins. Don't take the chorus as the origin. You know, because most people are in that mindset of the chorus, the chorus, the chorus, and the chorus has importance. But I want you to think about the bigger picture. There is. <laughs> The hands need to go. That's what I'm saying. It's called predictable, but the chorus doesn't have the the, the, pre, the predictable. The word predictable is in the pre-chorus. I ain't never heard the word predictable. It is. It's in the song, mom. Oh. Uh, I wrote it. I said. I heard it. the other P word. I it. I know it's in the song. I know the other P word. Yeah. But I didn't want to name it that because I would. They would have said what. I would, have said, I would have liked that. No. I don't think they would have said whatever. Like, oh yeah, that's a good song for that. Nay. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. Though. But it makes a lot of sense. The the song wouldn't have made sense if I think that that other one. They've been going. It makes perfect sense. They've been doing this. Or, or it makes perfect sense. No. Okay. No. No. Yeah. Because there's a reason why I said, but. But you. Can, you saying more and more and more. more the uh, the time. other p word. Makes sense because of predictable, but predictable wouldn't have made sense because if I had the other one as a okay, it's hard to explain. You'll get it. It's Listen hard to, to my song on Friday. Right now. Listen to it, and if you didn't know that I was releasing a song, where have you been? No, where have you been? Where? No, where have, have you been? been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Yeah, no. Um, basically, I post everything on Instagram. And so if you're everybody not everybody don't follow you. Yeah, you should be. You should be following me on Instagram. If you're not, the link is in the description. You know, do it now if you really wanted to. It's very easy. It's free. You don't need to sign up. Uh, well, you have to have an Instagram account. Mm -hmm. I'm just joking, but yeah. So follow me on Instagram to find out about all my endeavors. Um, I'm, I can take care of my things. Um, 
I thought you were about to grab. No, I was, but I'm not. Okay. Well, yeah, go listen to my song. It's gonna be out. That's so. It's gonna be out Thursday night, basically, and I'm gonna have to stay up. No, you don't, because you gotta go to school the next day. This is my future, Mom. This is me. No, it's not your future. Your future is going to school, This is me, future. This is me, future. What? <laughs> Mom. Darius, school is your future. Oh, yeah, I know that. But this is also my future. No, this is a hobby. It's a hobby. I'm you do it for fun. What you mean? I'm not do it for fun. You don't do no, it for fun? I do it for fun. This is my career. Darius, I'm gonna remember this video. Anyway, listen. So I'll be up all night, no sleep. What, mom? I yes, I did last time, and I went to school, and I was bright eyed and bushy tailed, cause I was on adrenaline, cause my song was just released. Um, um I don't know, Darius. I have more music that I want to release. Yeah, already. I think that you would do better. You know what? I think you would really do good and better with um, songwriting and make lots and lots and lots of money. No. Mm -hmm. No. No. So, do you have to put a lot of money into it when you write songs for people? I'm sure you don't. Well, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm just assuming you go, hey, I wrote a song. Do you want to hear it? Oh, they don't like it? Well, okay, I'll talk to Rihanna. But don't they have to hear the vocals of the song? They just No, they the sing it. They sing a demo. Like Sia, she'll go, I'm still real. Yeah, but how they know how the beat go? They have music notes, right? So um, it means that you have to write the The song's completed. All they do is they send, or mostly completed. And they'll throw it at an artist, and the artist will do a demo of it themselves. So first I would do the demo. So I would, I would have a song. All Oof. Okay. When you say demo, are you saying that it'll be like you your song that you have now? Right. It would With do. words to it right. and music to it. Right. Words, music, and everything. then you have, uh, they give them a piece of paper of the words typed out and everything. Right, and I'd send them my song wow. recording, and they they'd get this song, and then they'd sing it in their voice, and see if, and then do whatever tweaks they wanted to. They could change the lyrics, they can do whatever. They would see the song, and they'd be like, "Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, we're gonna make, we're gonna, I'm gonna take the song, whatever." Or they can deny it and scratch it and say, "I don't like it." Some people can just tell by listening to the song, but other people can tell by like they have to like do a demo. So, for example, yeah, I don't know whose song it was. But Rem, uh, or Wake Up, or whatever it is, was, I don't know, if, yeah, it was originally Beyonce's song. So she recorded a demo of it. What was it? Well, uh oh, okay, I know it's what It's a saying. song, and it was originally Beyonce's uh -huh. song. She scrapped it, mm -hmm. and Ariana Grande picked it up, and mm -hmm. she put it on her recent album. So th there's a finished version out there of Beyonce's vocals. First of all, Beyonce killed it. And I don't know what Ariana Grande was thinking when she made the song, but it's nowhere near matches up to Beyonce's song. Like, the, the actual song's on YouTube. Okay. Beyonce singing in the song. And so you can compare both sides. And there's a mashup on there. They killed it. But really, Beyonce killed it way better. And she should have put it on her. I don't know why she scrapped the song. And I was thinking, like, imagine being that good at just everything that you're, you just scrapped the song because maybe you just didn't, like, like a word. Like, why is she... I don't understand why she but scrapped that's the song. What, so that's good. what Rihanna did to... Uh... To that song, the Beyonce song. Um, what's that song she said? Uh, that's irre irresistible, irreplaceable, irreplaceable. That was originally Rihanna's song. Yes. Rihanna did not want it. She said no to it. I don't think she could have done it. Why? I don't think she could have done it. Why? Cause I just I. Beyonce's like already there in my mind, so I can't. I, so I'm having a hard time. There is whatever. Anyways, moving. that's what. But they did. They get that song to. They pitched it to Rihanna first. Rihanna did not take it, and then Beyonce. And when Beyonce took it, it went crazy. Well, she. And I bet you she thought about that. Like, wow. Yeah, I she probably did. That. And I, I, I see a lot of videos, and I'm thinking they probably are sick. Like it'll be like, so it'll be like a video of like, ten songs that artists rejected, and that are that did huge. Oh, that did huge number one. What happened? Oh, 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 oh. Um, Camila Cabello 
was supposed to stay closer by by with housing and the chain smokers or whatever and that song was on was number one for weeks mom that song was the number one song of the year i don't know what it was 2017 2016 whatever it was and Kami she's probably keeled over she's sick <laughs> she's sick she's, she's throwing up she's ugh. she thought she was pregnant she was sick <laughs> probably throw uh, I, I wouldn't be able to do it i'd be sick and house is doing this well, and there was a, 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 a demo of Camila Cabello singing the song. This is a snippet or whatever. And I didn't know she was That's when she rejected it? Yeah, she, she had sang the song. She's like, mm, it's not sitting right with me. Scratch. And Halsey said, I'll take it. <laughs> I just screamed. Oh, well. Mm -mm. No. That's what that. happens sometimes. Sometimes you can't hear the, uh, the, uh, the hit. The potential. I can always hear the hit. I'm just kidding. I actually am very nervous. I'm more so nervous with this. I actually am I. I don't know. I'm just nervous for everything. For this release, as same as I was for Insanity. Because now the expectations are higher. And I don't know if people are going to like the song. Right, and, the song and the song is different than Insanity. Don't it you is. agree? Mm -hmm. It's it's a kind of a different genre. Not a genre. I wouldn't go that far. But it's a different, like, it's just a, it's different than Insanity. And sometimes when artists stop, <laughs> I'm not Bryson Tiller. <laughs> Please <laughs> don't put that on my name. So sometimes when artists switch up. No, I understand. Yeah, right. Well, this is not only Bryson Tiller. Mama saying, well, sometimes when artists switch up and don't do the same music that people are oh, used to, can't do it. they like. I'm just trying to let everyone know. This is just my. This is literally my. Um, let me try to give an analogy. This. You just different. There is, is my painting okay this is my painting right and I have colors that I'm using and each color represents a different style a different feel a different type of music and I'm letting you know right now when the painting's finished I can do them all <laughs> I can do them all. oh yeah that's right what do you mean oh yeah that's right I didn't mean I forgot oh mm -hmm. yeah cuz he can put it on the hard drive when he downloading everything else yeah there is whatever <laughs> What happens if you, if, how do you, re, do you, have your videos only been 30 minutes? Cause you don't wanna. Right. Well, how nobody help me? That's a shame. I'm doing this, everybody doing this. Cause you got a little body. Mom, your body is smaller than mine. No, it's not. Oh, I thought you meant like shorter and like. No. Petite. Smaller. Like okay. skinny. It was tried. Anyway. Now, back to what I was saying. His music. Y'all, you just can't be... Sometimes I think that a lot of people put uh, artists in a box. And they yeah, only think that they should drink good. to, to uh, sing just one right, like, genre of music. Why do I have to have a genre? Anyway, before I get too quick with it. <laughs> <laughs> before I get too quick with it, just hear me out. <laughs> hear right. me out. Out. Um, basically, what I mean by I, I don't know I'm like acting like I have a a, a whole right. a whole sixteen years of discography and now I'm finally switching up. I right. what's on up? This one, this one. Up. Now, anyway, hey, listen. Nigga, you know who I'm gonna call you? Just listen. I don't have a genre yet. I don't want to act like I do. But it's just different than Insanity is all I'm saying. The song is different right. than Insanity. And I just hope you like it just as much. Like, don't be closed-minded just because it's not like Insanity. But I think, I think it's more, I think it's still in that genre. To me. I feel that it's I don't a even know. I don't know story. what genre I am. What? Well, okay, see, you guys don't know yet. But as far as me, like, looking at all the things that I've created over my lifetime that released or not, which is, I only have one song that's released, but... Um, all the stuff I haven't released, I don't know what genre that I am. And I don't want to put a label on my genre because I feel like it's so many different things. You know, you know never. It's do you my think country. You, you, do you think you have a variety? A variety, variety? Well, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Listen. Anybody can be variety, really. Until they release the music and it flops. Then you're not, your, your title has been stripped. You can't be a variety artist if your music isn't too good in every variety. Now, I'll tell you this. Taylor Swift, she killed it. Very much she was country, and then she went, and Pop. just in 1989, not in 1989, in her album called 1989, uh -huh. she gave me pop, right. and she 
completely blew up, and she was doing well in both categories. What's she at now? I personally think she making a lot. Reputation was trash. She didn't need it at all. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, she didn't need it. They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna get. They're, they're gonna listen to my song and say it was trash. No. Okay. Let me see, let me see what I mean by that. I think it's because I had such high expectations for it that her the Reputation album I didn't like it. So trash is very much not the word to use. It wasn't trash. It's just what I wasn't expecting. And you so said I didn't Reputation. Like, That's the no, album she came yes, out with. Yes, the album name. Oh, that was her Reputation. I'm like. No, no, her Reputation is not trash. No, 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 no. No, the song. I mean, the the album Reputation. I didn't like it. Her 1980, 18, 1989 album. She. Killed it. And I actually don't know how she did. Like, it was so strategic. Like, I actually, in my lifetime, I've never seen that. Was that the well, 21? Maybe I have. Was 21 on that? 22. First 22, one. yeah. No, it wasn't that one. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> so basically, what would happen was, she had one song that would be huge for weeks. And then immediately, as soon as it started to die down, people were like, oh, that was cute and all. Another song on her album would pick up out of, out of the blue, and it happened five times. She literally had five hits on the album, and they came. They, their peaks were at different times. Like right after one, it just picked up the, another one. And she, she said, "Are we out of the woods yet? Are we out of?" She killed it. She really killed it on the album. I'll give Taylor that. And then Reputation, she said, "Ooh, look!" And I did a cover on it. She said, "Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do." Oh uh -uh. yeah. No. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me Look do. Look what you just no. Nayer. I was trying to uh, uh, rise on her success. I was trying to uh, climb. I was trying to take some and give it to me. What am I trying to say? I was trying to um help her out. Capitalize. Okay. Off of her success. So I said Taylor's coming back. I said she's coming back with a new album. Let me let me capitalize. So I said let me do a cover of her new single so that when it gets big, I thought it was gonna be big. Oh, and I was listening to this song and I was thinking, I don't like this song, I don't like this song. Oh, close your eyes. Okay. I was thinking, I don't like this song, I don't like this song, and I still did it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That video's not private. And, I had, oh, you did, you, you put it, you put it right. You I privated all my videos. I They're know. gone. <laughs> the videos are gone. Derek Down was gonna say, dang, Derek is smart. It looked like he got like 50,000 followers before videos. Yeah, I never know I was saying that, girl. <laughs> I was talking to that girl on YouTube that I was talking to, and she said, <clears throat> she said, wow, she said, so do you like, are you consistent, or, she said, <laughs> she said, she said, I have so many, so many followers, uh, and you have three videos, I said, I don't know, I said, it just comes to me, <laughs> no, I said, I said, yeah, I'm on another channel, that's why. But yeah, I took all my videos off. He got like four videos on there. And I have like almost, and I think I, did I reach 50 yet? He almost got, this is my milestone, guys. He almost got 50,000 subscribers. Let's see if I reach 50. And she like, damn. I reached 50,000 subscribers, mom. It's a milestone. No. I only need 50,000 more to get a plaque. I'm going, it's go time. It's go time. It's go time. I'm getting a blade. I'm getting, you reach your milestone, I reach mine. Who's mine? Mine's more 10 million. No, you you already reached the, the one million. Okay, but I already go ten. And I reached mine is fifty. But I need mine to ten million. All right. Because by the time I get my ten million, you be at your fifty. Get your fifty. I already got my fifty. Miles. No, you get fifty more. You be at your hundred. Okay. I've been making a hundred million a year. Is what you're saying? No, I no. I said twenty twenty one. When I get my ten, you will have your. By twenty one, I'll be worth two million dollars. Bet. I'm just kidding. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm gonna play this video. The moral of the story is I don't have a genre right now, okay? And that's fine. And this whole, I don't, okay, that was another thing I was trying to say. I don't know if I'm gonna make an EP. Like, I don't know if I said this already, but I was thinking about that. I thought the EP is just something you put all of your, song, your songs you currently made together. Yeah, no. Well, you got, you release like one or two singles, and then your EP is like five songs, and you release like three or four that no one's ever heard at once. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I would like, let's say I did Insanity and Predictable, and then the next time anyone ever heard of me, they would hear my EP, and it would have three new songs on it. So it would just have everything on it. Instead of releasing songs one by one, it would be all on one thing with new songs on it. Oh, okay. Like, like an album. Oh, okay. But I don't know if I want to do an EP. 
I might as well just like keep on releasing singles every two months. Why? My logic behind that was is I just I think I just don't have enough faith in myself. And what I mean by that is if I release an EP and one of the songs just doesn't do good, I'm gonna be sick. Cause I cause all my songs are my babies. All my songs are my babies. And I I, I put so much work into each song that I make that mm -hmm. I wouldn't want one just to go unnoticed because I released them all at once. And I feel like oh, Darius. But okay. I feel like if okay. I release them in singles, then they each get their own time to shine their own their own attention. Okay, but I think I think that you need to go through it through it because that is what artists go through every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what artists feel. They've had the moment of yeah, yeah, yeah. they fail. They don't have every song that's gonna be you know yeah. on the charts. But right now I don't have the mental so, capacity for that. What? I don't have the mental capacity for that. You have mental capacity for it. What's wrong with you? Oh no, I haven't. I haven't released a hundred. I mean, released, reached a hundred thousand streams on. I'm, we're close though. We're close. One hundred thousand streams on Spotify. Does that mean something? Is it a milestone? Yeah, that's a milestone. It's a really big one. Especially for my first like release, like my first single. Where are you at? I'm at like ninety five. So five thousand more people. Five thousand more listens. Yeah. Until I reach a hundred thousand. And somebody, y'all, spam up the listening. Yeah, listen to my song Insanity. And I think it's gonna go you up. You gonna anyway. get five thousand yeah. before yeah. that song though? The nineteenth, mm -hmm. you think? I'm I'm only growing like eight hundred plays a day or something now. It, it's been dying down. My peak probably was like I got. But if you eight hundred plays a day and we don't, and we have like five more days before it hit. Oh right? well, yeah, it'll be it'll be soon because especially because when people listen to Predictable, people go back to the old songs. Oh uh, right, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Um, on my EP, I'm gonna have different types of music. I want some. I want something different. I don't want it to all just be like R&B slash pop. I want to, you know. And what I mean by different, I don't want people to think I'm going very much screamo, very much rock punk, very much uh, uh, country or opera. Very much alternative. No. I no. What do you mean? No opera. <laughs> So but I just mean that the styles of the music is gonna be different than what you, what you hear. Just because you hear one song, it doesn't mean like all oh, my songs gonna sound like that. And I want to put everything out there what I can do on this EP slash all the singles, because I want just you to know that there's like all this, you know, I don't know, whatever. I'm trying to find myself too. As much as you're trying to find out what I, what kind of music I make, I'm trying to find out the same thing. Why? Cause I don't know kind of. Why can't an artist just be an artist? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Just like I'm an artist, I make music. That's it. No matter what music it is, why you have to put a because label? Because I wouldn't want to be a label. But why that's the same thing for YouTube. If you started to do something, a science videos, people will be unsubscribing. Why? Because they don't want to see science, but they came here for this. Well, yeah, I know that. What I'm saying to you they is that. They came here for food and conversation, and if you give them other things than that, but they listen, might. But listen, I understand that. Food, you can do so many things with food with conversation-wise. With okay. song, you can do the same thing. It's still singing. You know what I'm saying? You're still in the same thing that mm. you're doing. Singing is singing. Whether you okay. sing well, pop, insanity. rock, opera, whatever. It shouldn't be. It should be whatever what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's, With food, no. it doesn't matter what I no. conversate about. What no. do you mean? I wouldn't be... Okay, so if I saw an album and they had... It, it was Beyonce and she had... Well, if it was Beyonce, I'd listen to anything she created out of her mouth. Uh, that's not a good example. But I'm just saying, like, if they had... Like, if it was a new artist and I'm, like, listening to that music and all of a sudden they had, they had an opera song... On there, and they're going. No, and then they, <laughs> and then they had, um, you know, a pop star. I would just be so confused, and, you know, because it, you know, I don't so know. So if Beyonce did that, you'd be like, no, Beyonce. I'd be listening. I'd be all yes, yes, Mr. Whitney. You know, yeah, yeah. She would lose you. No, I'd be listening to every single album. I mean, every single song on the album, just because it's Beyonce. Because it's Beyonce, I'd be But like, Darius! <laughs> she's, she, at all points, she's gonna kill it at all times. No matter what. No matter what. So basically, you gotta earn your point, earn your stripes. Right, right. You have to earn, then you can switch up. Right. Then you can switch up, you and I'm like, okay. No matter what, because she is the, she is and the, that's, she's the queen. You, and this is, that's the moral of the story. I keep on saying that, but that's the moral of the story, that sometimes you don't know 
what my, I talked about this before. People, uh, are artists, they'll like they'll be big and then they'll go on like a three year hiatus and then they'll try to come back. And sometimes that three year hiatus is at the wrong time. So Adele, she had however long of a hiatus and she came back stronger than ever because she knew her time was right. She knew that people were going to be loyal and people were going to like her anyway. The, the case wasn't the same for Lady Gaga and Katy Perry. It just didn't work. When they came back with their album, it was, first of all, it was different sounding than their usual albums. Right. They're, they're very, they're pop, they're pop queens. Very much so pop. And, well, uh, Katy Perry's album was kind of still pop. But Lady Gaga's album, at least, wasn't totally, it was much more of a mature, mature album than what she usually makes. And same with uh, Taylor Swift, I feel like her reputation album was kind of her maturing into her. A woman. Yeah, like maturing, <laughs> you know, her music was maturing. And even though 18, 1989 was killing it, it's just what people weren't ready for her to, to change at that moment. And they, they didn't accept that album as much. Like her sales were, compared to t normal Taylor Swift sales, it wasn't as good as her, her especially in 1989 did so well. Oh my gosh, she's probably, she probably has money for her grandchildren's children. Yeah, she did. She 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 with that album. Money. She really she I can guarantee she made a lot of money off that. She killed it on that album. That album had so many number ones for the longest time. She had a lot of number ones. She Taylor Swift in just general has a she's very very much she's made her name in the pop industry. Now I didn't and she started so young. She did. She said, he wears the worst really wear all the issues. She's oh, your captain yeah. and I'm on the bleachers. And everybody was singing. I don't care if you was. I just remember color. her in the in the room, and she's she had one of those uh those boy next door windows where like she she had, her room had a window and the house next to it had another window, and she would like look over, and he'd be taking off his shirt. Mm -hmm. She said she wears shorts, and she was like she had her glasses on. She was trying to look cute, and she had like an old car. I she saw was, like, the video, Darius. Okay. Yeah, fourteen years ago when it came out. I don't remember. It was that fourteen years ago. I mean, you were three. You would never remember that song. Do you remember when I was three? Yeah. You were so cute. You were still on my lap. Hugging me around my neck, kissing me. No. What? Oh my. <laughs> I'm very cute now. I need to get a haircut. Oh, you are like a bush. 15 minutes. I don't have time You got like a bush, Darius. I'm looking at your sad bars just like your grandfather's. Sad burns. Your sideburns look they your grandfather. They're they all the way down here. They're and then so they try thick. to uh, go up here. They're so thick and I don't know. And like they them. keep you keep cutting them and they keep growing. Yeah, I look like a bum. I do. I do. On the streets. I look like a bum. What kind of sideburns do they call those? Uh something from the seventies. What you look like? You just get a shape. Why you always get that cut? Why did I get a shape to the side and let it grow? You may have a goatee. Whatever it is, getting shut. Now, go see. You may have a beard. You want? Would you? No. You don't want a beard no. on your dad. All of it's getting cut off as soon as I see resemblance. <laughs> it's getting cut. Off. I haven't gotten into the habit of shaving, but I need to get there quick because now, m now I'm starting to grow hair. Your daddy shaved. Your daddy cut. His not hair. thick. You want your but daddy cut your hair? That's worse. That it's not thick, huh? You want your daddy cut your hair? No. He cut his own hair. I saw. I want to go somewhere. He did a good job. I am on the, and the, my hair is different than his. I mean, he's doing, he did something. Darius, he's doing your hair all the time. Yeah, and once I got to Kevin, I can never go back. I actually need Kevin to move with me. He needs to move here to Cincinnati. So he knew my hair. He killed it. You and don't you know, know what you got until it's gone. You really don't. You don't know what you got until it's gone. You just, you don't think that this is the moral of the story. As all, there's six of them on this video now. The moral of the story is, thank the people that are in your life because you take advantage of them. You take, not advantage of them, but you take them for granted. So when you leave, or if you move, or if something happens, you're gonna be thinking, dang it. Just like I was. I ain't got, I, my friends are back in Wisconsin, and I didn't think about that when I was there. That I had such a, a tight-knit close group. And now I'm here, and I don't have that anymore. I don't have anybody, to, this is the small things. I don't have anyone to cut my hair, you know? Garbage day was on Wednesdays and not Fridays. I don't want to be out at Thursday night. Really, Darius? 
this very much this it's just the small things. You still you talk to you, you take all the restaurants friends. around your house for granted. I took why for don't granted. You, why don't you go visit them? Like you can really go take your car down there, drive down there, and go visit them and have them come up here. What's wrong? The cat got your tongue? Mom. When I fall asleep at the wheel. <laughs> no, you don't fall asleep at the wheel. All you gotta do, you be up. For six talk, hours. Talk to Melody. My buns will there be left is. on oh I-94. I talk to my Melody. My buns will be on I-94. Talk to Melody. Doing talk this. to all of them on the phone. Is my buns there? Is you almost here? will be on I-94. You can talk to each of them an hour. What are you talking about? On the phone? Yeah, talk to Stephanie for an hour, hang up. Talk to Lexi for an hour, hang up. I talked to Malik last night. Talk to Malik for an hour, hang up. I talked to Malik. We are four hours, four people. Alex for an hour, hang up. Oh, you mean while I'm driving? Yes. I was so confused, and I don't know who Alex is, to be honest. You say that every time. You mix Adam and and Lexi Adam. all the time. Adam. I don't know who Alex is. Adam. Yeah, but you say Alex every time. So what? I'm saying Adam now. So when you gonna go visit them? My buttocks are gonna be doing this on. Oh my goodness, there is growth in May. Yeah, I know. May eleventh. And I'm growing facially. I just feel like it's just. It's just not a shock for you to look at me like very grown, very man, very new time in his life. For me, I'm looking in the mirror going, "Wow, yeah." Just yesterday, I was in kindergarten, and now I'm, I'm growing no. facial hair, and uh, I'm graduating in no. May. I guess because you so goofy. I don't know what that means. Meaning, I'm, exactly. I see you. Um, I don't know. You just goofy. Mom, I'm almost. I'm. I can't I'm tell grown. that. Yes, but your cortex is not all the way. <laughs> That's where we draw the line. That's where we cut. <laughs> cut. What was I gonna say? It's not developed. <laughs> it's not all the way developed. So you weren't making the wisest decisions right now. But when you get there, actually, then I'm going to be like... No one gives me props. Can someone tell me? I'm, I try to be very wise in my age. Sometimes just, I make Just say this. I'm going to shut up. Did you, did you do what I asked you to do earlier today? Oh. I still have time in the day to do that. No, no. Did you do it? No, I haven't done it. But I still have time in the day. Very much still time. I'm going to ask you that in two hours if it has to be done. Two hours? I'm supposed to be going to the gym. There is, and I know, but you know, get that done before you go to the gym. I don't know if that's necessary. Yes, it is. No. All I know is I'm not getting yelled at on a machine again because I said, get off. And I was doing this. I said, oh my God. I said, I'm so sorry. He said, finish your phone call, and then you can get back on. <laughs> and I said, oh. Okay. That's scary. Dad's opening the door. Nate, why'd you play it? Oh, now it looks stupid because he's not there. Is he? Now it looks extra stupid because he might be there. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone. Everyone let them know what your girl and him is doing on the channel. And I see. <laughs> yeah, am I the fan bam? Am I collectively the fan bam? Yeah. Is it just me? You just a fan better You must say me and Darius. Can you add me into your outro? <laughs> like, you no. Know, like, me and Darius are doing on the be channel. You. Yeah, but it's mostly me. Because now it's going to be Dalvin, too. Oh, I can't wait. I'll be in my room. No, 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 no. I'll be under the covers. There is no. I'll be no, under no. the bed. No. I'll be in the drawers. I'll be in my closet doing this. Sleep. Okay. And when we go to the mall, <laughs> huh? I'll be like, Darius, are you in the drawer? Be in your closet. Be under the bed. When we at the mall. Or we on vacation. You gonna be here? I'm sorry. Yeah. That's what I thought. And anyway, so you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone. Everyone knows your girl is on this channel. And we will see you tomorrow, me, Darius, or whoever, with another video. We love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe. Oh, yeah, my song is coming out. Yeah. I said that already, but just to clarify, it's coming out. So go listen to it. It's out on tw Thursday night at 12 a.m., which is really Friday morning, but Thursday night at 12 a.m. Oh my gosh, that's in like three days. Three days, mom. Three days. Are you gonna be nervous? 
Don't be playing. Yes, I'm gonna be sick. Please don't play that song again, cause I'm so sick and tired of hitting that song. You weren't sick and tired of insanity. Yes, I was. Oh my god, that music song is bad. There's. This is what he do. He plays it in his sleep. While he's sleeping, it's rewinded. And then I'm thinking, like, I'll be saying, is he still up? Because, like, sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm going to think of this not, like, not objectively. And I'll just, like, But you can't change it. It's solid now. Yeah, but I try to, like. Put, it's studio approved. I, I change my ears. And I put new ears on. And I say, like, let's say I'm going on and say, let's hear Darius' new song. That's what I do. I actually talk to myself. And I say, oh, Darius released a new song. Let me go check it out. And I press play. Mm -hmm. And I press play. <laughs> and then I listen to it and I go, hmm, next. And then, um, yeah, so I'll see if, uh, I always have to put new ears on to see if I like it when I hear it. Or if like, I don't know, but you're, I feel like you're still your big, biggest critic, so you don't know, like if you. Yeah, no, no, but, but if you're still, still your biggest critic, why do you play it 24 seven, every day, all day, rewind, on repeat? While you're sleeping. But I just feel like, you know, it's a professional song. Like, I just never had that in my life. It's between Insanity and this. I just feel like it's just, this is like what I'm going to be, this is what I dreamt of my whole life. First of all. No. We'll see. No, we'll see nothing. Could, this, Mom, this could very well be my career. We don't know. Then we know. We, we won't. We won't we, know. We know. We don't until, know. Until I release my music and see how it does. And, you know, and sometimes it doesn't happen right away for everybody. But there is. It's a hobby now. I just want this song to do better than Insanity. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. And I really don't know. I didn't, like, keep numbers on. Actually, Spotify keeps every, all the numbers of what days that it got this many plays. Did you get paid yet? Not yet. And I don't need my laundry thrown out there. I don't. I don't need it. They're going to pay you then. No. I think you're going to have a uh, paycheck by um, no, yeah. December. I am. Oh, yeah. I have a paycheck by December. I better. I'm going to get a nice gift. Huh? I better. A nice gift? A nice I gift. I can't wait to give me a Gucci watch. And I think I want a Gucci head. I mean, you know, I'm not head, a scarf. You want a Gucci scarf? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Might need a few more songs out <laughs> for that. I'm just playing. Can't wait to get my Gucci watch. Next stop, the Mercedes you, Benz of Cincinnati. There is. I'm just. <laughs> what the heck? What type of money you talking about? What got get happen? Well, we'll see. And then not even a Gucci watch. Mom, next time. Even if you had four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars coming from them people, you would not buy no Gucci watch. Oh no, 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 no! It'd be going to my college fund. Stay in school, kids. You playing, but it's, it's going to be a college fund. If I see one grade slip, you're going to be in the financial aid office. That's not possible. That is possible. Or you're going to be not going the next semester, you're going to be at home in, in the basement. Okay, mom. The video's over. No, I'm just saying. That's the reality of it. I'm Dude. not going to spend my hard earned earn money. But somebody's I don't think you ever finish it. I'll be doing both. I'll be doing, one hand will be studying and I'll be doing this. I'll be writing with the other one. Going, you know what we're using right now? Our something lobe. Yes. Our occipital lobe. Okay. That's what I'm looking to. That's what I'm using right now to view you. I have. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow at all. I'm think thought about school. Three day weekend. No school in my brain. No school. So maybe I should like get back in the mode and be yeah, like. Yeah, you better get back in the mode. I hope you don't get no homework. No, I don't have any homework. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of just so much in my AP lit. So much. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it, Mrs. Wilson. I don't want to do it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what if she saw it? She wouldn't. But I don't want to do it, Mrs. Wilson. And you see why I don't see the sideburns and sick. I don't see the whole. Mom, will you look at me and see how big Why? Because you are you trying to say that I'm not mature? <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> leave me alone. I ain't gotta leave you alone. It's the truth. Peace, y'all. Love Nine you. Nine peace. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. That's my next song. For real? No. I'm about to say. <laughs> <That's the three laughs> Sound like you're gonna go to uh, Lion King. You are. Uh,
You, all, you always say, for real, when I say that's my new song, and sometimes it is, and I'll be like, <laughs> like you always say, that's your new song, and I'm doing this. No. I'm but in kidding. reality, it is, and you no, be like, no, no. You thought usually, about it? You usually go, oh, that's your new song? And I go, yeah. There is. And no. it is. No. No, no. You want eating? Yes, it? I am. When? After the gym. Darius, do you eat the stuff and heat it up? I I love rice. Leave do you heat it up? Mm. Yes, I think I heat it up. I think, you think? I think I've never had it before. My first time I've ever had it. No, you're not putting that in Darius. Yes, I'll do it. I'll do it. I have to go, mom. I ain't got no time for this. Ooh, very. very I, I find myself using that a lot. I just feel like when you say, mostly when you say like when I hear like. Darius! And it's like you like call me like from three miles away and I have to run to your help. I go, I ain't got no time for this, you know? That's what you be saying? Yeah. I sing it. Every time you say my name, I go, I, or you call me, I go, I ain't got, like, I'll be in the car and it'll say, Mom. And I'll say, I ain't got no time for this. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what, it really is a real okay. life situation. Okay, Darius. You said all times. Okay. You wait till you go to school and so. see how much you're going to miss me. It's going to hurt your belly. Mom, what about me? You're, you're going to be sick. Me. You're going to no. be sick. You've never no, had children out in the no, house. No, no, no. Yeah. I had Dalvin out the house. I was still there doing this. Darius. Now you're going to have zero children. Darius. And you're going to be 